This podcast is sponsored by Shabas Events Hub, your one-stop solution for weddings, events, matrimonial and Shabas Kitchen. With more than 20 years experience, they are one of the leading wedding planners in Singapore. Furthermore, you can also start your wedding journey with Shabas Matrimonial. Contact them at 97903764 or check them out in IG or TikTok at Shabas Weddings and Events. All links are in our description. With Shabas, every grain is a feast. This is Nurul Huda Ramadan Podcast Series, your daily dosage of Ramadan quotes. Okay, we'll start. Uh-huh. You were talking about the Takwa and Suratul Al Bakra and all that. So I think we we didn't complete in <laughs> the previ- previous previous okay. episode. Incomplete. <laughs> <laughs> inshallah. So we continue. Inshallah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. The reason why we fast today, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said in the Quran al Karim, for us to attain Takwa to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and we have mentioned the definition in the Quran al Karim, and we would like to go on. To mention about what are the signs from the scholars that mm. say that people who possess taqwa, there are four signs. Okay. Mm. The first one is to have fear of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Mm-hmm. What does this mean to have fear for Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? It means to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. When you are alone or when you are in jamaah, mm-hmm. the same way. When you are in jamaah, you worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You wear your songko, you wear uh, your sarban, the juba, the juba. But when you are at home, uh, singlet only. <laughs> <laughs> when you are at home, uh, never mind. No, no need songko. Siwak also no need. Uh, nobody see. Eh? Mm. But is your salah sah? Is your salah counted? Yes, your salah is accounted for. But over here, he fear not Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. So he seems like he is fearing people. He is doing it for the for people, the sake. People will judge us. Yeah, for the sake of uh, people, right? So Correct. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said one of the requirement of people who have fear for me is when they worship you with when people are do not see them the same way as how they worship when people are seeing them. Mm-hmm. And this coincides with the Quran Al Karim in Surah Yasin, where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentioned, "Wasawaun alaihim aantartahum am lam tunzirhum la yuminun." Be it, O Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you give them reminder, or you do not give them any reminders, mm. they will still not believe in you. Mm. Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. Of course, he, he will be thinking in his head. Then, what's the point of me reminding them? Mm. Be it I remind or I don't remind them. Allah is telling me that they won't believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Why do I need to remind them? Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala mentioned the next ayah. Inna ma tundiru mani taba al dikra wa khushiya rahman bil ghayb. Indeed, O Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when you give the reminders. To those group of people, there is this one person that makes or or, or 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 the iman goes into his heart, and he is worshiping me in the unseen. Fabashiruhu bimagofiratin wa ajrin karim. Give him glad tidings. Give him good news. Give him good news. The Allah Subhanahu wa Taala have forgiven all his 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 uh, his uh, sins, and he will get the reward from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala al karim. Mm. So two things that happen to someone who worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in the unseen, or to believe in the unseen, or to worship Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala the same as what he will worship when uh, when people are seeing him and when people are not seeing him. To mm. have the fear. To like, have the fear, fear in the heart. To have right. the fear. To have the fear in the heart. Two things will happen to him. He will get his uh, his uh, past sins being washed away by Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and he will get the reward from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. And what is the reward from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala? Paradise. I thought Mercedes Benz. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
Insyaallah you get that Amin. best. Insyaallah. <laughs> Amin. Insyaallah. In, in, in heaven. Lah. In heaven. <laughs> Insyaallah in dunia as well. Amin. You can get Mercedes Benz insyaallah in dunia as well. Amin. When you are ikhlas Allah will give you. Yes, of course. Subhanallah. How Allah works subhanallah. Mm. And, and 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 there is a third third one in surah Yasin. Salamun qawla mir rabbir rahim. When we enter paradise when you get salam from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. Subhanallah And this is The ni'mah Of someone who have fear in their heart And this is the characteristic of someone who have taqwa in their heart First Fear Allah SWT Secondly To do something that coincide with the Quran and the Sunnah hmm. To do something To do an ibadah That is followed by the Quran. Where you get them from? From the Quran, the Karim, from the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Third is to have contentment in little that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give you. The little that Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give you, Alhamdulillah. Yeah. And when Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give you so much, Alhamdulillah. Mm. Same, contented. No Mercedes also, never mind Mazda 3 also can Alhamdulillah <laughs> Alhamdulillah mm. When you feel contented with little that you have InsyaAllah Allah will add more for you Inshallah. And Amen. when you add added more for you It's easier for you to feel contentment Yes Because little you have done your con- You feel rida mm. This rida Ar-rida bil qalil That to have this contentment in your heart With little that Allah SWT give So 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 this is you 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 said about taqwa is yeah. is about yeah still talking about taqwa the the characteristics of taqwa having contentment with the little so the little that, that you that have that is why maybe we are actually put into that twelve thirteen hours of you know you fast fasting because that's mm. something which is being taken away mm-hmm. for you to realize correct the the, the correct oh, what is the actual meaning subhanallah did I get, get it correct correct shabi shabi and the fourth one. The the, the we, 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 I, this is the four things that is mentioned in the book, is to have uh, to fear Allah Swt, is to do an amalan that coincide with Quran and Sunnah. The third one is to be content with the little that you will get from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, and the fourth one is to get yourself ready to meet Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is a character of people of taqwa, always preparing themselves. To be ready to meet Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala on the day of judgment, and we are in the month of Ramadan, and we are fasting, we are making worship to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Mm. Do we feel ourselves present in the worship that we are doing right now? Are we forgetting them? Mm. Are we making the relationship with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala stronger by reciting the Quran, by fasting, by making zikir to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, taking the advantage of every second in this particular month of Ramadan? To prepare ourselves for the greatest winner and the greatest win that you want, which is to enter the paradise of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala in the day of judgment. Inshallah, this is the four characteristics of the people of Taqwa, besides the definition of the Quran just now. Hmm. Barakallah, Inshallah, Barakah. So I think Ustad, you have given some very good. Explanation of, Allah, of, 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 of taqwa and how how it can be and who are the you know the four characteristics. This is not from me. This one my teacher <laughs> taught me this. Ah, huh? yeah, this one not from me. It was discussed. Ah, uh, mashallah, in, in classes. In so in when lectures. we are given all this, that there, there is a way that we must you know, shukur, that that Allah have given us for all this to you know to to shukur shukur for. So maybe in the next episode you can share. How how you, we can you know do the, the shukur? Inshallah, inshallah. This podcast is sponsored by Shabas Events Hub, your one-stop solution for weddings, events, matrimonial, and Shabas Kitchen. With more than 20 years experience, they are one of the leading wedding planners in Singapore. Furthermore, you can also start your wedding journey with Shabas Matrimonial. Contact them at nine seven nine zero three seven six four, or check them out in IG or TikTok at Shabas Weddings and Events. All links are in our description. With Shabas, every grain is a feast. This is Nurul Huda Ramadan podcast series, your daily dosage of Ramadan quotes.